Hey, good morning everybody. Good morning church family. It's great to have you uh, with us this morning for our kids talk and it's great to have uh, folk here uh, live in, at Southern Life Care. If you'd like to join us at Southern Life Care, please let Robin know, book in and it would be great to have you as part of our church family here this morning. Well, this morning uh, we're talking about waking up. How do you wake up in the morning? Are you one of those people that when you get woken up in the morning, you stretch and yawn and you jump straight out of bed and you put your uniform on and off you go? Or are you one of those people that have to be woken up once, woken up twice, woken up three times? How do you wake up in the morning? Are you a person that wakes up and is alert? Or are you someone who takes a long time to wake up? Let me know in the comments section. Put it in the comments. How do you wake up? Alert and active, or are you someone who takes a great deal of time to wake up? You know, this morning, we're going to be looking at someone who is woken up. But to be able to do that, I actually need some help. And of course, I need uh, Nick to help me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend to fall asleep. Not that I actually need much pretending and practice to do that because I can do that just about anywhere. I can fall asleep anywhere and Nick's going to wake me up. Let's see how he goes. So if you're going to go to sleep, you've always got to have a good blankie. And I think, I think this is Karen's mum who made this blankie for me. So it's always to have a good blankie. And uh, I'm just going to just uh, not off sleep. You're in the middle of this talk. Dad? Dad, you're in the middle of a kid's talk. Dad, wake what? up. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, how do you wake up in the morning? Do you get up and alert straight away like that? Or does it take you a long time? You know, when Jesus walked on the earth, he could wake people up. But do you know what was even more incredible? He could wake people up who were dead. Yep, who were dead. And Jesus could do that because he was God's son. And because Jesus was God's son, he had power and authority over all things, even people who were dead. And the story goes like this in the Gospel of Luke. Uh, Jesus and his disciples are coming into the city of Nain. And as he's coming into the city of Nain, there's a group of people coming out. And as the group of people are coming out, they are carrying a coffin of a little boy who had died. And they were all weeping and crying and upset because this little boy was the only child of the mum. And the mum was a widow. That means she's already lost her husband. And so now she was completely on her own. And she was crying. You know what Jesus did? He went up to her and said, Stop crying. What a strange thing to say to somebody who's just lost someone that they love. Jesus says, stop crying. And then he did something even stranger. He went over to the coffin and he reached out and he touched the coffin and the people carrying the coffin suddenly stopped. And then Jesus said, as he looked into the coffin, he said, little boy, get up. And with that, the little boy woke up. He was dead, but now he is alive. Jesus, he could wake up people who were asleep, and he could wake up people who were dead. They were dead, but now they are alive. And because Jesus can do that, he showed us that he is God's son and that Jesus has power and authority over all things, even death. Hey, boys and girls, isn't that amazing? That the Jesus that you trust in is the same Jesus that said to that little boy, get up. He's the Jesus that you trust in. And because he's the Jesus that you can trust in, you can tell him anything. You can ask him anything. And so, boys and girls, on that day, everybody who saw what Jesus did, they shouted out praise to God. And the people said, God is definitely in this place. And Jesus showed us that he has power and authority over all things. Boys and girls, you can trust Jesus. 
You know, sometimes we get worried about things. Well, when you get worried about things, tell Jesus. Sometimes when we go to sleep at night, things start to worry us. Tell Jesus, because he has power and authority over all things. And when we tell Jesus what worries us, it can really help us. So boys and girls, I want to pray for you this morning. And if you uh, would like to, I'm going to encourage you to close your eyes, because even though we can't see God and sometimes we can't feel God, he's here with us. He's right where you are right now. So you might want to close your eyes so that you can remember that God is with you, and I'm going to pray for us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend. Thank you for the great love that he has for us. Thank you that he has power to bring people back to life. Thank you that we can trust you. We want to give our worries to you. Amen. Well, boys and girls, church family, thank you for joining me this morning. There's going to be a great video coming up shortly about the widow of Nain and Jesus raising this little boy from the dead. You'll really enjoy that. Plus, there's a great song coming up after that, Super Saviour by Colin Buchanan. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. But anyway, at this stage, bye for now. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.